Hi, everyone. I'm Catherine Herridge in Washington. Thanks for streaming. Here's a look at the top stories we're tracking right now. Brittany Griner is now in Texas, undergoing medical evaluations at a military base. And the new details we're learning about her detention. And we'll hear exclusively from Texas Republican Mike McCall, the incoming chairman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, on the controversial prisoner swap. More political fallout on Capitol Hill after Arizona Senator Kirsten Sinema leaves the Democratic Party to become a registered independent. And later this hour, power grids under threat here in the U.S. A veteran federal investigator tells us about the evidence and whether the attacks are connected. And tens of millions of Americans use TikTok. We'll go deeper with a former senior FBI official on the credible threat to your data. But first, WNBA star Brittany Griner is back here in the U.S. after spending nearly 10 months in a Russian jail. Griner arrived in San Antonio Friday morning. She had been sentenced to nine years in a prison camp on drug charges. She was released after Washington and Moscow agreed to a prisoner swap involving a convicted arms dealer. Wee Jang has the latest from the White House. 